uniform in battle. It performed well, saved many lives, and today serves as the main Israeli battle tank for the IDF. Our primary mission in tanks was to race ahead and knock out the anti-aircraft batteries, a harsh lesson learnt from the Yom Kippur War, which was a mere nine years previous. Our efforts assisted the Israeli Air Force in knocking 80 Syrian MiGs out of the sky in amazing aerial dogfights. I remember once being in a field during battle and realizing that the artillery and enemy tank fire had stopped because everyone was watching a dogfight between our F-16s and the MiGs. Fortunately, we seemed to remember first and started to fire again. <laughs> Close friends that we deeply cared about. Jews that were so brave, so heroic, fell before our eyes. It was ugly. It was brutal. Yet it was a time of being completely and wholly altruistic for the greater good. We were there to protect Jews, to protect Israel. We were not there for the pay, certainly not for the conditions. We were there because it was our honor and schut to serve our nation, our people, and Hashem with every fiber of our being. We were pure, we were holy, and despite the ugliness we had to suffer through, we were filled with joy and pride. Simply put, we knew that Israel and Jews will always have to fight our own battles. We are Jews. No one else will ever fight for us. The thought that a Jewish army exists is a source of unbelievable pride, and the Chayel Bodet has been part of that experience since day one. From pilots volunteering to create the Israeli Air Force, recently chronicled in Nancy Spielberg's documentary, Above and Beyond, to David Daniel Marcus, AKA Mickey Stone, a volunteer Chayel Bodet, to become the first general in the Israeli army in Israel's independence war. Chayelim Bodedim have thrown their body and soul into the cause of our Jewish army from the start.